Hello, it's Henry again, the weed eater man. I don't just do small cycle, I do my own vehicles too. Change my own oil. So, when you're doing your own oil, make sure you dispose of it properly. Don't pour it in the yard or anything, kill stuff, poison the environment. <clears throat> this is a 13 millimeter. I'm just using it rather. It should be hand tight. I broke it free earlier, it was hand tight. See? Should never over torque these. If you gotta hold on a hard, then you've done it wrong. I got some trays down here, so don't make a big mess. Which I usually don't. I'm pretty good at this, so. Got your glove on. Wear your PPE. And uh, you're just going to drop your plug out. I'll check and make sure the seal's on. It's okay. I had no evidence of it leaking. So I'm not going to change it. And there you go. Now this is 10,000 mile oil they call it, but we're one year, so <clears throat> I'm at one year mark. I don't drive this one that much to and from work, about 5,000 some miles on it, but I'm just a fanatic in oil changes. It's worth the maintenance cost. I've never had an engine fail. I've always kept it good, so sorry if the video is upside down. Just bear with me. It's more of a teaching thing than anything, so. And... She's draining. So while I'm finishing my other details of my vehicle, and I got a rag over here. I don't like the. I try not to do it on a windy day, of course, because the stuff will blow everywhere. But anyways, it's not windy today. It wasn't. Say I spoke too soon. But that's okay. Anyways, drain it really good. Let it all drain out. The engine's been sitting cold for a while, so really all that's in an oil pan is residual. Everything from the top end's already down. And that's it. Easy. I'll put the plug back in, snug it back up, check it, make sure it's not leaking, make sure it's not cracked, torn. And I'll put it back in, and then I'll fill it back up, and we'll test run it. This engine here takes five quarts. I bought six. I always keep one in hand. You use about a half, quarter to half on this engine, maybe to a change. Actually, it's been pretty good, actually. It's broke in real well. I got 33,000 miles on it. <clears throat> I don't run it hard. I don't go off-road doing all that crazy stuff. Anyways, this is Jeep Gladiator 2020. Weeder Man out.